Hi guys, welcome to my channel Mate ABC English and today we're going to see one manner to prove the triangle inequality. So let's get started. And the triangle inequality says like this the absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b when a and b are real numbers. So in order to prove that we need to recall the definition of absolute value. And the absolute value of a number equals there are two cases a if a is greater or equal to zero or minus a if a is less than zero. So we need we have that there are two different cases in order to prove that if one if a is greater or equal to zero and also b the second case a is greater or equal to zero and b is less than zero three the opposite And the fourth case, if they if they are negative. So one trivial case is when they are all zero. Zero plus zero, zero, and this is zero and zero, zero, zero equals to zero. So this is a trivial case. So in order to not to have those, we need to put the a restriction here. They are bigger or greater than zero, bigger and bigger, bigger, less, bigger, less bigger. So as you have as you have seen, there are four cases. And the easy ones are these. As a is greater than zero and b is greater than zero, we have that a equals the absolute value of a and b equals the absolute value of b. So the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b equals the absolute value of the a plus b because they are they are positive and this is the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b so this is the easy one and also the fourth case because a, a minus a equals the absolute value of a recalling the definition of the absolute value and also guys you have that minus b equals the absolute value of b. So what, what do we have? That a plus the absolute value of b equals minus the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. Why guys? Because a plus b, they are all negative. So a negative plus a negative is a negative. By the absolute value of a, we have that if they are negative, if this is negative, then we can we have to put a minus. So this is minus a minus b, and this is by hypothesis a plus b. So guys, we have left the two other cases, but if we prove one, the other is similar. So the second case. It says that a is bigger than zero and b is less than zero. So you have to prove that a the absolute value of a plus b is less than or equal to if we replace by using the definition of the absolute value, we have that this is a and as this is negative minus b. 
there are now there are two cases, two subcases. So they are A we have if A uh, plus B is bigger or equal to zero, in order to use this definition, and this is the absolute value, then we have that this equals to this. So A plus B is less than A minus B. So these guys cancel to each other and we have that B is less than minus B. And this is correct guys. Why? Because B is negative. So this is a negative number and also and this is minus times minus and this is equals positive. So this is a positive number and this is a negative. And this is correct. So the second case is that a plus b is less than zero. So guys, we have to use this definition of the absolute value. So we need to put minus a plus b and this equals to minus a minus b. So re we replace the minus because we use the absolute value of a plus b. So now guys, we have the this inequality and these guys these cancel to each other because they are equal and this is equal so minus a is less than a and this is correct guys because a is bigger than zero so this is a positive number and this is a negative so the other case is similar in order to do that, we need to interchange the numbers and it's equal. So uh, I hope you guys to do this third case. So you have to demonstrate that you are learning here in Math ABC English using what we have learned. So I hope you guys to subscribe to my channel, Math ABC English. Bye.